Hey, this is Mike Barnes, the financial first responder. Hey, I'm coming from an undisclosed location today. Yes, I'm currently in military fashion today, but I wanted to talk to you guys about one thing and one thing that I know that some people actually probably played when they were younger. And what's that? Monopoly. So what things you should have learned from Monopoly, especially from your parents? Now, I'm going to talk to you tonight about ways that you could use the game of Monopoly to teach you how to become more financially independent. So without further ado, I'll tell you a story. So when I was younger, I would play with my Aunt Tink or uh, my other Aunt Lois, or I would play with my Uncle Bud. Yes, I have some country names for aunts and uncles. And we would play Monopoly. Now, you probably can't see the top of my head right now because I have the visor up because the sun is out, it's setting, but I am sitting in a vehicle because I can't record where I normally sit. It's kind of private. So with that said, let's talk about this story. So I would play with my aunt and uncles and my cousins. And when I first started playing Monopoly, I really wasn't any good. Matter of fact, I was terrible. I didn't understand the concepts. I didn't understand the rules of the game. And in a lot of ways, a lot of you financially are in the same situation. You don't understand the rules of the game. You don't understand how Monopoly works. So without further ado, we're going to talk about how you can use Monopoly to gain wealth and get better financially. Let's get started. You see here, see the game of Monopoly offers several valuable financial lessons that can be applied to your real life financial management and your decision making process. I've come up with 10 lessons that you should know that your parents should have taught you or you should have at least gleaned from Monopoly. The first one you probably say, invest in assets. Now, I'm not talking about anything shady like passing money under the table what I'm talking about is Monopoly teaches you the importance of investing in assets that generate income, buying properties, and building houses and hotels that can lead to a steady stream of rental income, which parallels the real life concept of investing in income generating assets like real estate, stocks, and businesses. You see, Monopoly teaches you as an individual how to invest. With that said, let's go to the next thing that you need to look at. You see, cash flow management is probably one of the most important things that you need to know from Monopoly. See, players need to know how to manage their money, their cash flow, carefully, avoiding bankruptcy. See, in real life, maintaining a positive cash flow by balancing their income and their expenses is crucial to financial stability. Overextending yourself with debt or overspending can lead to financial dis difficulties. Quiet is kept. Most Americans don't have a cash flow problem. They have a money management problem. So you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, Mr. Financial First Responder. I hear what you're talking about. You said invest in assets. You said have some cash flow management. Now what do I need to have? Diversification. You see in Monopoly, Owning a variety of properties across different parts of the board can reduce your risk. Similarly, in your personal finance diversification, spreading investments across 
different asset classes or sectors helps you mitigate risk and protect against market volatility. You see, diversification actually helps you as an individual spread the risk. Now, you're probably saying, well, Mr. Financial First Responder, what else is next? I'm glad you asked. See, we talk about the rule of 72, that compound interest rule. Well, here's another rule, the power of compound growth. See, as you build houses and hotels in Monopoly, your rental income increases significantly. Now, what we have to look at is, is how does this reflect in your overall investing? How does it reflect? It reflects the power of compound growth in real life, where real, real estate or reinvesting returns can lead to exponential growth over time. In other words, you go from one house to two houses to multiple houses, or from a little bit of income to multiple streams of income. Now, with that said, you need to know how to do one other thing. And you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, Mr. Financial First Responder, what is that? You gotta learn some negotiation skills and deal making. See, in Monopoly, it encourages you to negotiate or have negotiation and deal making skills, whether it's trading properties or striking deals with other players. See, in real life, negotiation skills are crucial in the various financial situations that you may be put in, such as buying a home, securing a raise, or closing a business deal. I don't know how many people I talk to that don't think that they need to negotiate their deals, but in fact, you actually need to do that. So you're saying, well, I, I know how to negotiate, Mr. Financial First Responder. What, what's next? I need to understand the impact of debt. See, as a player in Monopoly, you can mortgage properties to raise cash, but this comes at a cost. In real life, taking out debt can be a useful tool for growth, but it's important to understand the terms and ensure that the debt is manageable and used for productive purposes. In other words, people, we do not go and take out money or equity out of our house to pay off debt to go back in debt. We do not take information that we would normally do to actually gain knowledge and use it for bad. Now you're saying, well, wait a minute, what does that mean? Well, it simply means this. We don't take money from a asset to go and pay off a liability without it being profitable. Matter of fact, the US government has said that you can no longer do that as of um, a couple of years ago, if you take out money, it has to be to make the property better. I repeat, it's to make the property better. And it's up to a certain amount. You need to get with your tax professional and find out what that amount is. Now, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, Mr. Financial First Responder. You're talking about understanding that, that impact. What else do I need to understand? I need to understand how to be a long-term thinker. You see, winning monopoly often requires several turns ahead or thinking several turns ahead and planning for the future rather than just focusing on the immediate gains. See, even in your personal finance, long-term thinking is essential for retirement planning and saving for education and building your financial legacy. You will not gain wealth being a, what I like to say, a microwave thinker. You have to think long-term. Now, you're probably saying, well, Mr. Financial First Responder, I've heard you talk about long-term thinking, and that makes sense because I do need to think about what I'm doing. But what about this? What about emergencies? Well, you need an emergency fund, it's important. See, just like in real life, unexpected ex expenses in Monopoly happen all the time. See, you land on another person's hotel or you draw the unlucky chance card can drain your cash reserves. 
See, having an emergency fund three to six months helps you stay financially secure when unexpected expenses arise. Now, we've talked about this before in the past, but a lot of you decide probably that you would, would, would prefer to use a credit card than to put your money away. That is bad for you to do. The next thing that I would say is, you hear this a lot when it comes to franchises and restaurants and different places. Location, location, location. Location matters. In Monopoly, some properties are more valuable because they are more frequently landed on. This reflects the real estate principle that location is key to property value. Understanding that the value of the location of the investments can help you make better financial decisions. Now, I'm going to say it like this. You don't buy property in areas where people don't live at. So what you want to do is, is you want to find locations that have the, the infrastructure, the support, meaning they have the jobs, they have the, the transportation outlets, they have the industry there, as well as they have individuals that want to live there. You want to be in the, in the location that makes the most sense when you're renting property. So with that said, so with that said, what we also have to look at is the role of luck. See, in Monopoly, there's an element of chance. As you rely on the role of, di of the dice, similarly in life, luck can play a role in financial success. However, just as in Monopoly, strategic planning risk management and smart decision making often outweigh pure luck in long in the long run just understand this people you need to evaluate and mitigate all risks in summary the lessons from monopoly can serve as a fun and interactive way to understand key financial concepts and reinforce the importance of smart financial management. Look, if you like what I just did with Monopoly, you're going to love some of the other stuff I'm going to do. Please like and subscribe my channel and get ready to come to my free financial challenge, which is happening August the 25th. Look, this is Mike Barnes, the financial first responder. God bless and have a good night.